And one that I cannot live without. And it's called Proc Compare. Unfortunately, not a lot of people know about or use Proc Compare. But the reason it is my favorite is I am continually updating my programs um, with enhancements or trying to improve the performance or adding new fields, new formulas, etc. And because I work very much in a production environment, it is important to me to make sure that the original results and the results that I get from the enhanced program are exactly the same where they should be. So I need to make sure that my variables have the same types and lengths. I need to make sure that the data values are the same and Prop Compare does that for you easily. And some people say, well, the two data sets shouldn't be exactly alike. Maybe 18 out of the 20 variables should be the same and two should be different because I changed them. But Prop Compare makes it very easy for you to handle what is the same versus what should be different. So just like I can do in the data step or I can do in any other procedure, I can use data set options like rename equal, keep equal, and where equal. And those options allow me to isolate the portions of the data that should be the same so I can compare and get the wonderful message, all values are equal, and also isolate those fields that I'm expecting to be different and then confirm what the differences are. So Proc Compare has been around the software for a long time. It's a part of base SAS software. And for SAS programmers who have not used it before, I highly recommend that they do. The opportunity to be able to talk with you today and, and be part of your SAS Guru series. It's a wonderful series for getting information out to the, the SAS community. Uh, one final suggestion I have for people who are trying to advance in their careers, both from a SAS perspective and from an analytics perspective, is attend conferences. Conferences are a great place where you can enjoy all three of the suggestions I have. Number one being education and ongoing enhancement of your knowledge. Number two being networking. And number three being sharing your knowledge. So whether you participate in a local user group, a regional user group, or you attend SAS Global Forum, make sure that you get out there and enjoy the conferences and all that they have to offer. And thank you both for um, letting me participate today.